Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to do Chicago style on Google Docs. To format a document in Chicago style using Google Docs, you need to pay attention to several key elements, including margins, font, and citation style. Margins and font. Ensure your document has one inch margins on all sides, top, bottom, left, and right. Use Times or Times New Roman font, set to 12-point size. The text should be double-spaced throughout the document. Page numbers. In Chicago style, page numbers start on the second page, after the title page. To insert page numbers, go to the Insert menu, select Page Number, and choose the option that has no number on the first page. This will start numbering the first page of text with the number 1. Footnotes. Chicago style uses footnotes for citations. To insert a footnote, click Insert, Footnote. This will automatically take you to the bottom of the page where you can enter your citation. The first footnote for a source should be a full citation, while subsequent citations for the same source can be shortened. Footnote formatting. Footnotes should be in Times New Roman, 10-point font, and single-spaced with a space after each paragraph. You can adjust the font and line spacing by highlighting the footnote text and using the Format menu. Indent the footnote by dragging the left indent on the ruler to the half-inch mark. Bibliography. For sources that require a bibliography entry, ensure each entry is formatted correctly. You can use tools like Noodle Tools to generate formatted footnotes and bibliography entries. In Google Docs, you can also use the built-in citations tool to add and manage your sources and bibliography. Common errors. Be cautious of common errors such as incorrect font, spacing, and indentation. Ensure that all elements, including the header and footer, are correctly formatted according to Chicago-style guidelines. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.